Hey Table Tennis Junkies, I'm going to be showing you the Top Spin Windshield Wiper Serve this week. The Windshield Wiper Serve is one of my favorites because it creates a lot of side spin on the ball and it's pretty unusual so your opponent isn't used to seeing it. So it can win you a lot of quick points but you want to be careful with it because the, side, the Windshield Wiper Serve puts a lot of side spin on the ball so when your opponent returns it, the ball will actually, that side spin is going to stick to it and the ball is going to return with a lot of side spin so you want to be careful with it. It's almost like a double edged sword. Okay, for the stroke on the windshield wiper serve, you're going to start on the side and you're just going to swipe across it like, like a car's windshield wiper. This is what's going to create all the side spin. You can also create top spin on the ball and that's actually pretty difficult. I'll show you that in a minute. But when I'm doing this serve, I'm actually more focused on creating the side spin than the top spin because the top spin, you actually don't need a whole lot of it to, to make the serve effective. And the side spin is actually really what's going to win you the points on this because that's what's going to make it tricky. So to do that, the first thing you want to do is you're going to want to change your grip. And I like to use the C Miller grip on this. So to do the C Miller grip, you're just going to turn the racket in your hand like this. And the index finger will be on the side. The thumb kind of pulls back a little bit. You can kind of see that. And this is what it looks like on the back and then on the front. If you're already a C Miller style player, I really recommend incorporating this serve into your game because it's a very effective serve and there's no transition. It's, it's just an easy serve to incorporate. If you are a, uh, a shake hands player, it still is pretty easy. You're just going to change it and then as soon as you're done, you just it's, it's an easy transition. So if you're a pen hold player, I probably don't recommend doing this serve. Alright, so the reason why I do that, the, the C Miller grip, is because it'll allow you to come to the side better and create better side spin. If you're a shake hands player, to lay that wrist back is, I don't know if you can see that, it's, it's pretty restrictive and it's, it's hard to get much side spin on the ball and it's pretty uncomfortable. So when you turn it, it just it makes it a lot more comfortable on the wrist. You actually get better wrist action and you get better side spin. Another thing, another advantage of the similar grip is if you want to get back spin, you just got to lay it back and, and you can get the back spin that way. So it's it's a better grip for this serve and it's an easy transition out of it if you're a shake hands player and if you're a C Miller grip player then then there's no transition so it's it's an easy serve for you then. Alright I'll show you the serve now. Keep in mind that I'm really coming across the ball I'm using my legs and coming down on the ball and because this is topspin it's gonna bounce forward so I'm actually swinging pretty light uh, but still using quite a bit of wrist also. Here we go. I like to go cross court. It'll give me a little more space to get it uh, to keep it short. It's very difficult to keep this one short. You can see how that ball moves across the table. That's one reason why this serve is so effective is because of that movement. A little bit longer. Okay, I'm going to demonstrate the stroke now. What I really want you to watch for is my motion, but also my legs and how they're really coming down on the ball. So as I come down, That'll help keep the ball short and it'll also get my body involved with the stroke which will which will help create better uh, better spin. Here we go. As I do this, my left leg is generally a little bit in front, but then I come back as I as I swing on it. Okay, another thing to watch for is to get the top spin, I, I'm not going to come over the top of the ball. I might hit a little bit on the northern hemisphere or else I'm just going to go forward. Both will help create that top spin. And then for the side spin, I'm, I'm coming across the ball or you can actually come this way. Both are fine. Um, the more forward you go, the better top spin and, and less side spin. And the more across, the more side spin and less top spin. Here we go. I'm also not swinging big on this. It's, 
It's, it's actually a big swing, but it's not a crazy swing. swing. I'm, not, I'm not swinging real hard because this is, this is a very difficult serve to keep short and to control. So if I swing too hard and too crazy, it's going to be hard to control it. So I'm, I'm, I have a big stroke, but it's, it's kind of a soft stroke. Okay, so here's a little more side spin, and then here's more top spin. Go more forward. More forward top spin, less side spin, and then more side spin, less top spin. And then maybe a little mix in between. Okay, so how should you prepare for the next shot after doing the windshield wiper serve? Well, the windshield wiper serve, remember, has a lot of side spin on the ball. So the side spin is going to pull the ball into your backhand. So what I like to do is I'll either prepare for a backhand or better yet, I'm going to turn the corner and use my forehand on the next shot. So one thing to be really careful of, and this is really important, is that all, with, when you're generating all that side spin on the serve, the ball will return with some of that side spin. The, the side spin sticks to the ball. So when the ball comes in, a lot of times it will kind of bounce and hop funny. So be prepared for that because it's not a clean ball and it can be difficult to, to follow up after this serve. So just be really prepared and watch the ball closely after, after the windshield wiper serve. Okay, so to recap on the tips from today, the first thing is to change your grip, just rotating it in your hand to that C Miller. That's going to that's gonna help you come across the ball and create much better side spin. Then the next tip is going to be if you want to create more top spin, you're going to go more forward on the ball and more side spin will be coming across. And just remember the trade-off. So the more forward you go, the less control, and the more top spin and less side spin. And then the more across you go, the more side spin, the less top spin, and the better control. So there is that trade-off, and you can, you can kind of experiment with it and adjust it to your own style and your own game. Um, but just be aware that there is that trade-off, and the more up to the side is gonna be more side spin, and the more forward, the more top spin. The last tip is probably the most important. You definitely want to use your legs on this. So you, as you serve this, you're going to come down on the ball. That'll help you to keep the ball low. It'll help you get your body involved and create more spin. And it'll just make it a much better serve. That's all for today's video. But before you go, I wanted to share a little bit of information I found out. So I was looking at YouTube's analytics on my videos and it shared that only 30% of my viewers are from the US, which just kind of blew my mind. So if you are from another country or even if you're from the US, I'd love to hear from you and where you're from and how you found out about my channel. Um, and then if you have any suggestions for new serves or different serves that you'd like to me to, to, to teach, put them in the comments and I'll try to incorporate them into my program. If you like my video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Here we go. <laughs> it happens every time. I <laughs> I'm surprised it hadn't happened already. Oh, my belly. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go.